Well, border policy restricting crossings is about to change, leaving the U.S. bracing for an immigration surge. The Biden administration says it is ready. Hannah Brandt joins us live to explain, Hannah, what those plans are. Jennifer, Title 42 will be ending tomorrow, taking away the power that border agents had under it to quickly expel migrants. But the Biden administration is stressing this does not mean the border will be open. We are a nation of immigrants. We are also a nation of laws. When Title 42 ends Thursday, the Biden administration will start using new policies to deal with the expected surge of migrants. Border agents will deny asylum to people who show up at the southern border without first applying for protection in countries they passed through. Our overall approach is to build lawful pathways for people to come to the United States and to impose tougher consequences on those who choose not to use those pathways. They also plan to open 100 migration hubs across the Western Hemisphere to help people apply for asylum without making the dangerous trip. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas acknowledges the border is already overwhelmed, and these measures aren't a perfect fix. Our current situation is the outcome of Congress leaving a broken, outdated immigration system in place for over two decades. This week, the House is set to vote on a border security package, which would finish the wall, advance border technology, and support our brave border patrol agents. But that Republican bill is unlikely to pass the Senate, and Democrats criticize it for not including any assistance for people to legally immigrate to the U.S. This bill is a resurgence of failed MAGA border policies that promise harsh enforcement and nothing more. Until Congress passes something, the Biden administration is left waiting to see if their new policies are enough. It remains to be seen. It's going to be chaotic for a while. President Biden also says he spoke with the president of Mexico yesterday for about an hour and says that Mexico will be cooperating with the U.S. and the new border policies. Jennifer, back to you. And Hannah, the Biden administration said they are sending now troops to the border. How will they help? That's right. They're planning to send 1,500 troops to the border, but only to do administrative work. The intention is to free up Border Patrol agents so that they can do the migrant processing. Okay, Hannah Brandt in Washington, D.C., thanks so much.